Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. India has spent 2.40 lakh crore rupees in the past four years by signing 187 contracts with foreign and domestic firms. The deals involved procurement of various military platforms and equipment. Out of the 187 contracts, 119 were signed with Indian vendors. Government has said today that 50,000 bulletproof jackets had just been procured through the Indian manufacturer. Also, 236,138 bulletproof jackets and 158,279 ballistic helmets were procured in 2016 to 2017. The Defence Ministry has issued a 10,000 crore rupees tender for acquiring 61 advanced air defence consystems from local manufacturers under the Make in India program. The tender was issued by the acquisition wing of the Defence Ministry, and the 61 air defence systems would be used to replace the Russian origin systems, including the L-70 and ZU-23. The RDO has to come out with composite material panels to reinforce bunkers. The panels which is needed by the Indian Army could be ready in the next six months. Minister of State for Defence has said that the composite material panels can be knocked down for easy transportation. For the first time, the Indian Air Force is planning to deploy the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft in its Mega Pan India exercise, in which almost all the combat aircraft of the service will take part in March this year. The exercise will be based on a scenario that included rapid deployment across the country at all the operational Air Force bases. The Indian Defence Minister has said that over 10,000 acres of defence land is under encroachment across the country. She also added that the government was taking steps to strengthen management of defence land, which includes digitisation of land records. The Defence Ministry has cleared 240 precision guided munitions, which will be procured from Rosbaron exports of Russia. The CAB 1500 are being procured for Shukhoi 30 MKI fighter jets to enhance its capabilities. Ashtiria, an Indian firm, has ventured into the international market, as one of its first clients is a farming company in an African nation. Ashtiru has two drones, the Cygnus, a fixed-wing drone, and A400, a multi-rotor drone. Prime Minister Modi discussed the intensification of Indo-Russia ties with President Vladimir Putin, as the two sides agreed to strengthen the privileged partnership. In 2016, China had announced a probe to achieve the world's first soft landing on the far side of the moon, to showcase its ambitious space program. June 2018 will witness the liftoff of the relay satellite.